broadly let us now try to understand what are the different types of techniques in a machine learning machine learning techniques can be categorized under two main heads one is called supervised learning and second is called unsupervised learning super supervised learning is a machine learning task of finding a function from a labeled data what is a labeled data i have got a data set which has got many attributes many variables for example i have got data of my customers customer id age gender occupation their transaction behavioral attributes and i have one more additional information saying whether the customer is has churned or not churned this column which says which customer has churned and which customer has not churned is called the labeled data this kind of data when i analyze to understand the profile of customers who have churned vis-a-vis -vis the profile of customers who have not churned i use a technique which will fall under the head supervised learning the labeled class column can also be called as your dependent variable and this class when i analyze with respect to variables like age gender occupation and their past buying behavior those variables are called independent variables let's now see what is unsupervised learning unsupervised learning is a machine learning task of exploring the data to derive some inferences or insight from a data the same data which we talked about where i had data of my customers age gender occupation and a class which is whether the customer has churned or not churned if i remove this column i assume that this column whether the customer has churned or not churned if that column is not present in my data set and if i analyze the data in that case this analysis will fall under the head unsupervised learning so in unsupervised learning i would be doing analysis to find out what are the different types of customer segments that i have or what are the types of attributes which are similar between various customers all those things would go under the head of unsupervised learning so broadly speaking if you have a target variable or a labeled class column and then you are doing a analysis in that case it will be a supervised learning if you do not have a labeled class column and you are doing analysis it will go under the head unsupervised learning let us now try to understand supervised learning at in slightly greater length in a supervised learning when you have a data set there will be input attributes called independent variables and there will be a labeled class column which is your target variable or the desired output now you are trying to analyze the data wherein you are trying to establish a relationship between your labeled class and the independent input variables feature variables so to analyze this you pass this data set through a learning algorithm which will be a supervised learning algorithm the supervised learning algorithm will try to find patterns and relationship between the input attributes independent variables and the dependent labeled class based upon the relationships it it identifies it is going to give you a model 
and that model we call a predictive model and based on the predictive model it is also going to predict the output of those set of records and this is called a supervised learning process to check the model performance what we can do is we can compare the output which is predicted with respect to our desired output and based upon how accurate we make prediction we can have various model performance measures this is what a supervised learning algorithm is all about two main classifications of supervised learning techniques one is a classification and second is regression classification comes when when we are trying to predict the output which is say class a versus class b when the output prediction is about a class which record will fall under which head for example credit card transactions i want to predict whether a credit card transaction is a fraudulent transaction or a not fraudulent transaction in that case it becomes a classification problem regression when my target variable is a continuous variable for example i want to predict the amount a customer is going to spend on a credit card based upon his past purchase patterns and if i am trying to make a prediction about the spends the customer is going to make in the next month it will be a continuous target variable in that case we will call it as a regression process so supervised learning techniques two main broad classifications two broad class categorization supervised learning techniques are classification or a regression technique now let us come to unsupervised learning technique in a unsupervised learning technique as i already mentioned we do not have a labeled class we have a input data and we are trying to analyze things with respect to the given set of input data and this set of uh, data when we analyze using some unsupervised learning technique there are three main classifications one is called a dimension reduction technique for example when i have got data and i'm trying to reduce the number of variables in data in that case i call it as a dimension reduction technique some of the dimension reduction techniques most used are principal component analysis factor analysis now when the same data when i'm trying to reduce the number of records number of cases that supervised learning technique unsupervised learning technique we call clustering and there is a third type of unsupervised learning technique which is called association analysis association analysis example market basket analysis in a market basket analysis what we try to see what are the different products what are the different items the customer buys together this kind of association analysis is very commonly used by e-commerce for recommendation engine you buy a certain product on a e-commerce portal and the website automatically suggests you what is the associated product that many other consumers have purchased along with it that is called association analysis in unsupervised learning technique we directly get a output if you compare a supervised learning versus unsupervised learning let's go back to a supervised learning slide in a uns in a supervised learning you see we had a input attributes and we had desired label class the algorithm tries to find a relationship between the target variable and the independent variables 
and based upon that it builds a model which is a predictive model and you get a predicted output i can save this predictive model and i can use this predictive model for future prediction about new set of records that i get for these new set of records my customers i can apply the predictive model and predict their likely future behavior whereas in a unsupervised learning i have a input data i pass it through a unsupervised learning i get a output that output i can directly use for my own understanding or for some other technique which is likely to follow consequently but there is no model of model in this case i cannot use uh, i do not get a model which i can apply on future records that i am going to get so that is the main difference one of the differences between supervised learning and unsupervised learning